Hello YouTube, it's Steve. So here we have is the SD Cross Silhouette, Sesquade, the normal and the Titans version. So with these, honestly, I, I think they're pretty damn cool. You know, I, I built them and I, uh, I actually hated them. I thought they looked just grotesque. Monsters. What kind of madman would put a mono eye on a Gundam? But you know what? I uh, I come to love them and uh, I nurture them and just treat them as my own. So, regardless, even though I do have some issues with the whole mono eye, I guess it uh, overall adds to the personality and the aesthetics of the suit. But regardless, let's go ahead and get into the review. And don't forget, you can get these kits over at NewTypeHQ.com. Use that promo code CROSAMA so that way you can get 10% off your kits. But if you want to get anything else, they do have a pretty massive selection over there. But hey, let's move on to the review. So we're taking a look at the SD form first. Uh, we're essentially going to look at the SD form of the Titans. And uh, yeah, I, I think it looks okay in this form, but... With the Cross of the West series, you're really going to want to have that frame. I think that's where the series just really shines. But uh, regardless, I'll show you a little bit about what the SD form is going to look like. First of all, the construction is pretty damn good. Uh, the way you're looking at this suit now is a complete out-of-the-box build, but without the stickers. So, um, yes, yeah, it looks somewhat plain, but just from how it looks right now with the bare plastic, um, I honestly think it looks pretty damn good. So, whenever you are painting this, honestly, minimum paint is going to be needed for those uh, extra little details. And here's the sticker sheet. So essentially, what most of these are going to go to is like the green for the top camera. You have like the yellow that's going to be on the chest and some other little parts. It's uh, for basically the waist and the chest as well. And posability is going to be out of the window when it comes to the SD form. Obviously, your knees and elbows, those are not going to have any articulation whatsoever. But the hands can basically move around. The shoulders can move a little bit. Uh, the legs, eh, they can spread open a little bit. The waist is hardly going to be able to twist because it's very constricted with the uh, the waist and the the side skirting but yeah it, uh, it's it's just really limited so for the mono eye it's actually going to be this clear pink piece looks really good to be honest um i i me personally if i was the one to paint this i would keep that to the side and then reuse it after i painted the kit honestly there's there's no need to paint this little piece right here and the thrusters on the back are actually on ball joints, so if you want to maneuver them in any kind of like particular position, you're really going to be able to achieve that with the ball joints. Now looking at the iField launcher, it is a pretty nice cannon. Uh, it does have a long, long range beam rifle, uh, also a powerful mega cannon. Uh, but since it is an iField generator, it's uh, going to be able to pretty much block itself or you know defend itself pretty accurately from beam projectiles which is uh it's always a good thing and of course the sesquay is going to have the beam sabers the unique thing about this is i i believe this is the first time that the cross silhouette actually had uh, separate beams from the beam saber hilts very unique uh, i've never seen that on the previous kits and i hope they do continue this uh kind of like trend in the upcoming cross silhouette line and here we have the normal version of the Sesquay, but this one is actually going to have the cross silhouette frame attached. So, yeah, proportions look much better. It has better articulation, and I just, I don't know, this is definitely a, a step up. And for range of movement, here is the elbow, basically going to get a, a good 90 degree bend. And the arm can go up about that far. Leg spread is actually uh, pretty minimum, and the knee is only going to be able to bend about 75 degrees. And you are going to be able to get a pretty damn good ankle pivot. And of course, both kits are going to have the same exact accessories, so the beam sabers and the eye field launcher. But yeah, other than that, it's just uh, just a different colored version. Now, when it comes to the cruise mode, I honestly don't like it. It looks really um, pointless. But yeah, if it's your cup of tea, if you like these kind of transformations, then hey, more power to you. But for me, uh, yeah, it kind of just serves no point to, you know, for anything. Well, for my final thoughts, honestly, these are two amazing kits. You don't need to get both of them. I just got it because, uh, you know, I'm collecting every single Cross of the Wet kit. But for you, if you just want one, you can easily get away with one, especially if you're painting. So if you just get, you know, the normal color, you can go ahead and just paint it to the Titans color and vice versa. 
but regardless they're gonna come with the same things uh, just the Titans version has two white stickers that are extra and that's pretty much it guys so really great kits uh, definitely needs the cross silhouette frame to just kind of complete it comes with great accessories finally the beams are separate from the hilts uh, all around beautiful mono eyes are fantastic as well so but that's it for me guys definitely thank you for watching and like always rate comment subscribe if you haven't already and i'll be seeing y'all in the next video bye bye